Hey guys, Rick at Healing Field Farm. Um, we are going to build a new hay feeder for the goats today for a couple reasons. So you can see all the hay that they really end up wasting. Um, and it's, it's a lot. And we built the hay feeder during our 100 day homestead challenge. But that was for more of an indoor hay feeder. And it's not going to hold up to the weather. And then we do have a metal one. But that's also it's just going to rust outside and it's not going to hold a lot and there's five of them so we did use the hay net for a while and the problem with that was one of the goats got stuck and uh, luckily we were home and we could get her out but if we hadn't been home you know it could have been disastrous for her um, you know we, we were home and i'd set it up and maybe she was stuck in it five minutes, but you know, she could have fought and twisted and, and made it much worse for her if uh, nobody was around to help her get out of it. So the hay net, not really a, a great uh, idea for the goats because they do like to climb and jump and, and they're fighting for it and their horns can get caught in it. Um, not saying we won't use it down the road um, it's just not ideal really for goats in my opinion so we are going to make one um, it's going to take about five minutes it's going to cost about ten dollars so we got trash can you can get pretty much any retailer um, this one costs i think 9.96 so and it'll hold about a bale so 32 gallon we're going to drill a couple holes with the hole saw and then uh, we'll be able to put the hay in they'll be able to pull it out and we can keep a cover on it keep the hay hay dry and it, so it won't get wet so hang tight and we're going to start this So I got six holes, seven holes, and I'm just gonna clean up the edges here. Any of this plastic is still hanging. And then uh, I'm gonna go hang it up, put the cover on it, fill it with hay, and it uh, should be good. Um, I did do, I mean, we've got five goats, so I wanted to make sure they all had their own hole. Um, and there's seven in case we get more. And then there's a couple different ways you can hang it, uh, you can build a post for it and attach it to the post. I'm just gonna hang it on the T-posts and then uh, I'll probably just tie it so that they can't push it off or pull it down.
All right, so that's that. We'll uh, get a cover and we'll hang it. I did three inch holes because you want want them to be able to get their, their snout at nose in there and then they can at least pull the, pull the hay through. Um, and then I just cut off any hanging pieces and anything that felt sharp and dulled down because you don't want them to cut themselves on it. You don't want them to eat that plastic. So, and then uh, we will get it filled with hay and we'll see if it works. Quite curious about it. So I just slid the handle on the T-post. I had some wire kicking around, so I wrapped it around so they can't push it around. And wrapped it up here so they can't lift it up. It'll stay right on there. And uh, you can see, working pretty well. Mabel, be nice, don't be a bully. Looking good. Play the headbutting game.
I will probably just put a strap on it just to uh, tighten it so that they can't push it around as much as they are. But uh, other than that, I mean, that's it. Garbage can cost 10 bucks. Drilled some three inch holes and uh, it holds about a half a bale of hay. So that's really all they get in the morning anyways. So, and it's really the perfect height because they're more browsers. They, they want to get stuff at their, their level. They're, they're not much for, as much for grazing. So, but all right, so that's it. That is our five minute ten dollar hay feeder for goats so hope you guys enjoyed this and uh we'll see you next time have a good day